Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us at Life with NLP webinar. Today, we're here to share the incredible experiences of those who have embarked on their NLP journey and witness remarkable transformation in their lives. Throughout this webinar, you'll hear inspiring stories of personal growth, improved communication, and profound breakthroughs. These stories will ignite your curiosity and show you the immersed potential NLP holds. Whether you're looking to gain practical tools for self-improvement or considering taking the next steps with our Intro to NLP workshop or practitioner certification. This webinar will empower you to make the decisions. So let's get inspired and discover the life-changing possibilities of neuro-linguistic programming together. What I would like to do is ask a couple questions of those of you that are here. And I'm going to start with Casey. Casey, can you tell me a little bit about how your life was before NLP and now after? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So before NLP, I felt like I was really looking to change some things in my life, but I was struggling with how to actually do it. I knew that there were um, some patterns that weren't serving me and some ways that I wanted to um, shift my life. And so I found NLP through a group of people that I was working with. And I was really amazed to actually see there was a stage demonstration of someone going through an NLP process. And to me, it felt like magic, like watching before my eyes, this person transform, releasing some of their fears and just, um, you know, within a matter of minutes coming out and feeling like a better person. So that got me really excited. And so I started um, doing NLP training, learning more about it and looking deeply at my beliefs and my values and finding out what was serving me and what wasn't. And just uncovering some of those beliefs, beliefs and looking at what do I want to believe and how do I want to show up differently was really powerful. So I'm just so grateful to have found NLP. And now that I'm coaching with NLP and, and have gone through several of the trainings, it's just been, I'm so grateful because I feel like such a different person and I'm, I'm so much more able to handle the challenges that come up in life. Wow. That sounds incredible, especially being able to handle those challenges that really, truly come up in life. So I'm going to go to Karen next. I would love you to answer the same question. Tell me a little bit about how your life was before you started using NLP and now after. Well, I was first introduced to um, NLP through a, a class and in the demonstrations and showing how it worked, I noticed that there was a lot to do with communication. And communication was one of my um, goals that I had that year. My goal was to speak up and speak out. And so what it ended up doing was enabling me to um, reach those goals. And through the classes that I was taught, it just fascinated me all the things that have to do with the mind and all the presuppositions about the more you know the better you get or once you know whoa I don't remember the presupposition <laughs> but anyhow that uh, there's just tons of really cool presuppositions about the more you know than you know and I cannot remember it but anyhow I it is really interesting to me all the stuff that has to do with the brain. The brain is so fascinating. Fascinating? I can't even say the words either. It's fine. Not about perfection, right? I would love to also come over to Matt, and I'm going to shake it up a little bit, but I would love to hear from you. What were you looking for before you learned about NLP? And then what purpose did you really start learning more NLP? Don't shake it up too much. <laughs> um, so great question. So before I was 
before I was introduced to NLP, what I was looking for was a way to heal my own pain. Probably for about the previous 20 years or 15, 20 years, uh, there was a good amount of pain that I had grown up with and uh, had learned how to quite effectively just kind of keep my emotions bottled down. And um, uh, at least it was effective. I thought it was effective growing up only to later discover that it was, everything was just really starting to bottle up and almost bubble out. And I really didn't know how to process those emotions. So uh, that really began my, began my quest in learning how to heal myself, be more aligned with my thoughts and my emotions and really honor my experiences versus truly thinking certain emotions are bad and certain emotions are good when in reality all of them are worth are worth honoring and learning from and so uh, that's essentially what i was looking for in my pursuit of nlp and when i discovered nlp very similar to like some of this uh, stories that were mentioned before not only did it really allow me to uh really bring all the learnings that I had been through up to that point together, but it really helped me get a deeper understanding of myself and the positive intentions behind my pain and my emotions that I had been experiencing to where I was able to learn a lot more about myself and understand that uh, everything I was going through was absolutely perfect and exactly what I needed for that next transformation in life. And so uh, where I'm at today is absolutely night and day difference from where I was before. And uh, I, I owe it all to my willingness to apply the concepts of NLP. Wow, that's incredible. And I could only imagine what it would feel like really understanding yourself even more and really having all these tools and resources available at your fingertips. So I'm going to go to Mandy and I would like you to share what were you looking for before you got into NLP and what was really the purpose that you wanted to learn more about it? Uh, I had done a lot of, um, without being a philosophy or psychology major, um, in formal education, I'm just fascinated by the brain and the way we work as humans. And so I had done a lot of reading generally, um, in depth <laughs> and in depth, uh, about those topics. NLP, um, I was at a point that was pretty difficult in my life. I was feeling stuck, um, and, and just really needing better tool than, and also better than just understanding the concepts. Um, and, and really what I, what I found with NLP was it, I want to echo what Casey said about it felt magic when I first found it. And then the more that I've learned about it, it's, it's become something better than magic because it's a tool and it's not something that like is the man behind the curtain and you don't know what's happening. The thing that is probably the biggest life-changing piece of NLP is that I feel like I have tools now. I feel like I have understanding and I can create my own tools and I can ask for help in a way that makes more sense and helps me get tools where um, before I just felt afloat in a way that um, was a little more at the whim of other people and other things. Um, now I feel like it's something I get to choose more because of all of the things that Matt shared and understanding myself better and being able to ask better questions of myself and then also to come around to answers I didn't know I already had. Wow. Just having that magic at your fingertips to be able to access all that information and resources sounds incredible. So now I would like to ask Chris, what was the purpose that you were really looking to learn more about NLP and how have you specifically used it now? Well, I was curious to see how I can control my emotions a little bit better and have a functional way of doing that. Like everyone's kind of, kind of implying like a tool rather than something that just randomly happens. You're like, oh, thankfully that just happened today, but who knows what next day is going to bring. But instead it's a tool that you can, that I've used to improve my personal life and professional life as well. 
found myself a lot of with a lot of frustration and anger and those are two things that i wanted to change uh frustration and anger with you know environment or job or day-to-day -day things and i found that through nlp i've been able to find a certain i might not be able to change everything that's a, you know the bad situations that happen but i can change how i react to them and i can kind of program myself for lack of a better term to do that more consistently and i found that after nlp i've i've been i've reduced the anger and the frustration and i've been able to approach conflicts with a much more grace and calmness and as a public school teacher in the united states i found that that's transferred into my job and miracle of miracles when i started to approach with that kind of serenity i guess um, I've noticed that the, the conflicts or frustrations, the people that were also involved with those also diminished. The intensity of them diminished, the, the frustration and all that sort of thing. So it's not just helped me, but it's helped those around me. And it's, it's kind of cool to think that I have a choice and a power in deciding to do that every day. And it's not something that's random. Wow, that just sounds incredible. Also being able to have more choice in how you react. And I know personally that has been one for me too, is I can ask myself now a better question of, is it about me or is it about that person or situation? And now I have more choice in how I show up day to day. So I love that you also brought in uh, being a teacher and how you just have more choice and being able to implement it in everything that you do. Amazing. And now I would like to go to Beth and I want to understand from you, what were you really looking for before you found NLP? And then how do you specifically use it now? I was looking for tools to help me manage my symptoms of PTSD. And, um, I have experienced symptoms of complex PTSD for years and years and couldn't find a way to work through it. I, I had tried many different things, um, talk therapy and uh, counseling and, and lots of different avenues, going to the gym, um, just trying to, trying to fix it on my own <laughs> and it wasn't working. So, um, and I, and I had tried medications, um, and they still weren't um, the answer I was looking for. So I just, um, I heard of it from a friend and took a weekend intro class and then, um, just really wanted to learn everything else I could about it. And that, um, has been a journey for me. I've taken all of the trainings now that, um, that, uh, I can, <laughs> Um, to get to the level that I'm at as a trainer now. And it's absolutely one of the most life altering processes that I've been through in the last few years. Um, my symptoms have diminished so much. I've had so much more um, emotional freedom and emotional um, control uh, because I can, I can choose how I respond now to, um, to different things that come up. I've collapsed triggers and, um, and gotten rid of, you know, how things affect me in a really strong way and respond now in a way that I choose to, which is so empowering. And, um, one of the most wonderful things I have found in my life to help myself move forward in the way that I want to live the life that I want to live. Wow. That just sounds incredible. Um, just, I mean, knowing that the place that you started into being able to really now live the life that you want to. And I want to share a little bit about why I started my NLP journey and I lost my middle sister to a completed suicide, but I also, my son at a year and a half old, had seizures. And I know that I paired two traumas together, which ultimately I found was really locking me into this fear of losing anybody else in my life. And NLP was that one thing that I found 
that I ultimately was able to forgive myself, forgive my sister and move through that fear and change it actually into curiosity, which ultimately transformed my entire life. I went from living in fear, going from zero to red in 2.5 seconds. And now I have this curiosity and a love for life, which ultimately moved me towards starting my nonprofit. I went to a two-day training myself. I was like, well, shoot, if one, one time can do that, I need to learn more about this. And went to a two-day training that went on to getting my practitioner certification, master practitioner certification, training certi certification, and then coaching certification because it has been so impactful on my life and being able, like everybody else has said, is that life transformation. I have more choice. I have more options and resources and information at my fingertips that I am able to share with my clients or with my family or in my work that I do today, which I know everybody has said a little bit about that. So I would love to just for a couple moments, open it up to anybody that would really like to share anything else that popped up into your head. But if somebody is watching this webinar, why would you tell them to come learn a little bit more about NLP or neuro-linguistic programming with us at one of our next trainings? Yeah, Casey. I'll share. I heard a real common theme among all of us is about choice and having tools. You know, that's really the magic, right? So we all have choices now that we already probably had, but didn't realize. Now we know, thanks to NLP, and we have the tools to be able to make those changes in our lives. So I would invite anyone who wants that, right? Who doesn't want that to join us? Yeah, for sure. And just so you know, if you are watching this, um, the trainers that will be assisting us moving forward are really Casey, Matt, Beth, myself, and Karen. So, um, and I know we brought along Mandy. I'm like, which way are we going? Mandy over here and Chris over here. Uh, we had them join in because they have had experience with NLP, as you heard them talk about. So if you're wondering or you're curious about what this NLP or neurolinguistic programming is and how it may help you or somebody else that is in your life and how you can find out more to get more choices, more resources, more information, you can come join us for one of our intro to NLP I don't even know what we call them, webinars, <laughs> um, if you want to, because we know when you know better, you can do better. And that way you can also have more choice, more resources, more information, like everybody was talking here. And you never know what might show up that you can move through or really be able to change or shift or enhance. There's so many cool things as we were talking about with the brain that you have within yourself. And so one last time, I would love to open it up to anybody else that wants to share anything else that may have popped into your head as we were talking. Yeah, I... I would actually like to speak specifically to NLP worldwide um, and Heidi and the team. I, I have so much respect. I mean, I have gone to a lot of trainings. I've learned a lot about a lot of different things and the, the content is offered so cleanly that it's so obviously like, let us empower you to learn these things about yourself. And I, I feel like I maybe have really high standards in this department, but NLP worldwide is they stand up for, they, they teach it the way that it is about loving yourself, learning about yourself and being self-guided for each person. And the trainings are, are 
a thousand percent in that same tone. And because of that, everyone in the trainings, in my experience, I mean, I've done so many trainings with, with the whole group and because they're led that way, it opens it up for all of the people learning to connect with one another as they're connecting with themselves. So the people on this screen that I have been in courses with, I feel so close to, and, and it is in a way that wouldn't have been possible if it wouldn't have been taught in a way that was so open and supportive. Yeah, such a great point, Mandy. Thank you so much for bringing that up too. And what she is speaking about is the um, organization that we collaborate and partner with is Worldwide Institute of Neurolinguistic Programming out of Sydney, Australia. Um, Heidi, our fearless leader, she definitely is the trainer of all trainers that does teach the practitioner certification that we are collaborating with them on. And so if you want to learn any more about neuro-linguistic neuro programming, maybe you identified with the story of anyone here and you're like, hmm, I think I wanna learn some more information about this. You can go to bccevolution.org and it's under our event calendar. We will have all of our webinars listed there. We do a quick intro. I guess it's not super quick, but it is a short intro to NLP. Give you a little taste of what you can actually learn in our practitioner certification. And then if that's something that you're like, man, I want to learn more. I need to know more information, how I can help myself, how I can help others, um, what I can do with this thing that we call NLP, then you can look into our practitioner certification, which you actually get a certification um, as a neuro-linguistic programming practitioner. So again, that website is BCC, B as in boy, C as in Charlie, C as in Charlie, evolution.org. And it is under our events calendar. They will all be listed there. You can check out which date will work best for you. And then join us in collaboration with Worldwide NLP, Worldwide Institute of Neurolinguistic Programming for the practitioner certification. And who knows, maybe you will become a trainer like so many of us have because you have found that this thing called NLP, this little magic, is something that can benefit you in your life and I don't know, the brain's pretty fascinating. So thank you all so much for joining us for this Life with NLP webinar. I hope that you took a small piece of information away. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out via the BCC Evolution website. And we would be more than happy to answer any of your questions that might come up. So last question is I'm curious, how long will it take you to go sign up? We'll see you soon.